one of the most important things that bodybuilders taught me um, and it can teach you as well, you know, and I think it's important uh, it, it also is um, for one to help self-esteem, my self-esteem for one. Um, I was a really shy kid growing up. I barely could talk to anyone. Anytime anybody asked me a question, I would, <laughs> you know, just laugh and never really answer the question and never really could look at anyone in the eye and all that, so it was really bad. Um, but bodybuilding um, really helped my self-esteem and um, be able to look at people in the eye and just feel just that confident in myself, just accomplishing the stuff I do in the gym, uh, you know, transfer out into regular life. And, uh, you know, it's unbelievable and you, you wouldn't think so, um, something so simple and people really don't look at, you know, training and bodybuilding as anything uh, that important or anything that would teach you uh, life lessons. But uh, it really, really, really has for me, um, as well as discipline. I have to say, I got a lot of discipline from the military and that's helped me in bodybuilding. But I had to take that discipline and I had to enhance that you know, within bodybuilding for the things that we have to do because of what we have to look like, you know? And then the things that we have to do um, when you're starving, when you're thirsty, you know? When you don't feel like talking to someone, you know, um, you know, it, it helps you uh, learn a lot of things about yourself and dig down deep uh, to find, this to, to discover, you know, you know, what you have inside you and what you're able to accomplish. You know, so bodybuilding's done wonders for me. Um, and in that case of discipline and self-esteem um, and accomplishment, being able to accomplish things in life. Do you, do you ever get used to like, you know, you get the odd message from someone who's like, you know, you motivated me to change my life and that sort of stuff. Do you ever get used to that? No, man, um, I hope I don't either. Um, I think it's super cool um, that people share their experiences with me who I actually had a chance to talk to. Um, and I think it's pretty special that a person, when they ask you uh, advice or, you know, um, something like that, and uh, they actually take that advice and run with it. Right. And actually it has improved, you know, their training or improved their competing or their life in some way, you know? so. Um, it, for me, it's an honor um, for people to come and talk with me and uh, to actually um, to share with me if, uh, things that I've shared with them actually work yeah. you know, for them. It's, it's really cool. What I see myself doing uh, with my training business, and I'm, I'm just hoping that, um, you know, that I can, you know, um, just promote health, uh, promote fitness, um, maybe even create, you know, a, a program. Um, there's no crystal ball. There's no you know, magic wand where you can go abracadabra and, you know, uh, get someone in shape. But uh, hopefully, you know, one day within my business, I can create a system or a program that I can, you know, lend out to people. Um, every, any walk of life that can help them, um, you know, become a better and healthier self. Yeah, there's been a, quite a few injuries uh, that lifting, but uh, one particular one comes to mind um, is when I did a, a the Raw Unity in uh, New England, Massachusetts, and um, Ed Cohn happened to be there. He actually spotted me on my bench and then was there and he slapped me on the back of my neck like I like when uh, I get ready to deadlift to pump me up. And so he was there and I was fired up and, you know, of course it's an honor to have a person like that there to watch you, you know, and cheer you on. And um, yeah, I went to rip, I think it was 826 pounds at the time. And um, everything was going good. That was my third lift, um, grabbed on, uh, went to lift. And next thing I got to about to my knee, next thing I know, pop, I just felt the hand street give, so I just let it go. Um, the worst thing about that was uh, I was eight weeks out from doing a bodybuilding show as well. And I was training with uh, Milo Skarchev. So the, for, of course, the first call I get is him going, no, Johnny, what are you doing? What was that? I know you shouldn't have done that. 
you know, and so I'm like, I'm okay, man. Don't worry about it. I'll be doing cardio tomorrow. No big deal. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's one of, like I said, one of the uh, memories that uh, comes right up in my head. Ah, uh, mutant. How have they been, you know, partnering this, uh, man? I tell you what. Um, I sure. I. I, I, I as you can see, I barely got words to describe my gratefulness and mutant giving me a chance um, that to believe in me, uh, believe in my skill, um, believe in me as a human being, believe, believe in me as a person, as a uh, competitor, as a bodybuilder, as a lifter, as a power lifter, um, to accomplish and to represent them uh, correctly. You know, uh, they gave me their banner to uh, raise up and. Uh, you know, uh, walk around with it, and um, man, I, you, you know, it's something I think about every day, and it's an honor um, that I don't deserve, but I have, so I try to treat it, you know, as well as I could, uh, for sure. Um, and yeah, they've, they've helped me so much into, uh, you know, building a better Johnny Jackson, um, creating a better Johnny Jackson on stage, um, and, and winning, you know, winning shows and and one of, and meeting one of my biggest goals, uh, which France can tell you this. I always said that before I get out of here, I'm going to win one of the Arnolds. And uh, with Mutant backing me up and their support, I'd be damned if I didn't do it. So uh, yeah, I, I can't thank them enough for uh, the support and the things they've done for me through the years and my family and helping me support my family as well. I don't think that. Bill Phillips looked at it as, I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end, the death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing set. He's a marketing genius. Got it. Got it. It's only by it. The right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster. A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. That this, no, no way. That stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way. I'm not going to give you, it's going to kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have drank so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was going to explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me. 